Hey guys, it's Killer Vegan here. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, Killer Vegan here. That was really gross. Hey guys, it's. Bleh. Guys, it's. Wow, I like smiled so big. My people are like, eh. I am. Uh, killer Vegan here. <laughs> that intro was so terrible, but I just wanted to try something like, hey, it's your girl, Killer Vegan here. See, I was like, I just wanted to be normal for it. So excited. Um. <laughs> Oh All right, guys. So after editing everything, I decided to kind of break this up into two videos. So thanks so much for watching the first part of my video. I really appreciate it. The next part, I'm going to kind of go into like my foundation and my eyeshadow and how I set my makeup. So moving um, on, as you can see, I have crazy skin um a little bit it's it's red in some places i know you can't see right now because i did put the bb cream on um and i have really dark circles can you see that Shh. Shh. Uh, uh, uh. dark circles right there okay um so i do a couple of things for that i use these amazing pencils from elf again these are seven dollars Thank you, Elf. Okay, balling on a budget. Okay, so we're gonna do um, the corrective underneath my eyes, and then we're gonna do the green like in my cheeks and kind of whoosh that out, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ew, oh my God, that's so gross. Ew, put that down. That is gross. Clean your mirror. Can you see that? There we go. Again, this isn't a tutorial on how to do your makeup. This is just how I do mine. And you guys can freaking do whatever. It's just to show you, again, being cruelty-free is so easy. You guys, my wrinkles under my eyes are so unreal. I've been like struggling very hard with this. Um, that's why I kind of invested in Natasha um, because something needs to happen. So by the time it's about three or four o'clock, no matter what primer I use, no matter how much powder I use, dude, your girl's eyes are terrible, okay? They're so cakey underneath. I have tried everything. So if you guys have suggestions for that or advice, help me out. Leave a comment below. Don't, there's no judgment here on me and my wrinkles. I just need help. So I have recently um, been trying to do my foundation again and then my concealer on top of that. Um, I don't know. That's just been working for me a little bit better. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today because I have a long day today and it's hot outside. You guys, it's so humid and it's not even raining yet. Okay, so I just started using this and I kind of like it. Um, I wanted something to be a little bit less affordable, or, but I want it to be something, I wanted something more affordable so I wasn't running out on my Tarte makeup so fast. Does that make sense now? If I could use words. Um, so I kind of have been like switching um, my foundations. I have used the Morphe foundation, which I actually really like. I got it in my tone and then a tone lighter than mine to kind of mix the two, uh, which I have been liking, okay? They, uh, that foundation that I use, I'm not gonna use today, but is cruelty free. Um, so here is the thing about Morphe. I had to dig deep and see if their stuff was cruelty free. And as far as I have found, and I have found multiple things, they are cruelty free, except 
a set of one of their brushes. Um, I do have a set of their brushes, but it's the synthetic um, things. What is like brush, synthetic brush? Um, but they do have a set that is not synthetic, so it is not, it's not vegan. Um, but as far as I found, Morphe is primarily cruelty free, okay? So today though, I am using e.l.f. That's gross, don't look at that. It's the Flawless Finish Foundation, and I am pairing that with my favorite foundation ever, Shape Tape. Um, awesome. I seriously love Tarte. I know people hate on them because like maybe like a year ago, um, they said something, I don't know, on their Twitter or, or Instagram or something like that. But I still love them because they're cruelty free um, and vegan, and they tried to really um, accommodate to us folk. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of combine the two. I just realized that mirror is gross again. So I'm gonna do the... Come on. Guys, um, how about this weather, man? Um, it kind of scares me. Um, it's so humid out, but monsoon season in Arizona is pushed back a month, I was reading, um, because we had such a long spring, um, everything's pushed back. Um, can you guys believe all of the freaking climate change that is happening right now like around the world it's so disheartening and scary um you know i'm not trying to get heavy right now but i'm trying to get heavy um uh, it's real it's happening they say they say scientists say that the florida keys are going to be under the ocean in our lifetime what dude what that's so scary it's the tides are so so crazy right now that um the keys are flooding okay and then paris had that heat wave dude it was like the hottest they've ever had in like 50 years what dude paris what belgium i have a client who is from belgium she says obviously they don't have air conditioning it's always gloomy it is um weather like Portland and Seattle, it's very gloomy and it's always raining. Dude, dude, it was like 90, 90 the other week in Belgium. What, dude? And they don't have air conditioning, so that's also scary because why they don't need air conditioning. You guys. So, um, We're looking at good, you guys. Yeah, I think so. I think we're good. Okay, so moving on to, ooh, that's like weird. Okay. I feel like um, my makeup's already falling off my face right now. So, um, I've dabbled in different concealers. I've used the Shape Tape Concealer um, from Tarte, and I've been really liking this. It's the Creaseless um, from Tarte, and I do like that. I try, okay, so also, I like it really light underneath my eyes. Um, so I've been trying this by NYX. So NYX is another affordable brand that is cruelty free. I've done a lot of research about them, um, them and e.l.f. Um, and other affordable brands. Um, just because I can't always be buying tarts every six weeks to eight weeks. Um, just because I'm trying to cut back. So anyway, um, here is the NYX um, Studio Concealer. 
Um, I actually really like it. I don't use it all the time. Maybe like once in a while when I really want that pop underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna get my hair done today. I'm going to lunch with a couple of girlfriends and I'm getting my, my why can't I talk today? I'm getting my nails done today too. So I'm gonna be in public. Yeah, so here we go. I know that mirror is so gross, but I'm doing my makeup like this one. Enough about weather and climate change. I'm just gonna kind of let that sit for a second. Um, I'm actually gonna do my eyes while this kind of sits. I'm just gonna do typically what I do normally for my eyes. Um, this palette I have used to crap, man. Um, it's the e.l.f. It's the new classics. I've had this for like two months and it is, you can tell the ones that I use like really bad like look at that one that one's dying this one that one these three i really use like a lot um so this one is cream i mean again this isn't a tutorial i don't even know why i'm telling you what it's called um god that's gross Ugh, that's so gross I'm sorry, I keep like... So anyway, um, do you guys have any morning routines that you do? Um, I have been trying to be a little bit more proactive and positive um, in my morning routines. I feel like I start for like six. Jesus, Indy. He's like chasing birds. Um, I have like a window right here that's in front of me and the birds are like going crazy from the tree and they are taunting my cat right now. Anyway, so morning routines. Let's talk about that a little bit um, because I wanna know what you guys do. I want you guys to let me know or give me suggestions because I feel like I get on that train, right? Of like trying to be better. Right, for the, for the last, since May. So what is that, three months? So almost three months, for the last three months, I have been working out every day in the morning. Holler, yes, girl, yes. Um, for a long time, I really wanted to do that, and I kept kind of making excuses, right? We all make excuses. We all are like, oh, we'll do it later, or we'll put it off, or, you know, I'll get there when I get there, or when I'm ready. Dude, you're never freaking ready. Never. So you literally, for me at least, I have to push myself to get out of bed to work out um, and I keep reminding myself it's for me you know it's for me to feel good to be in the right headspace anyway so um, I make my coffee in in um, I set okay wait I can't do like five things at once. I'm talking about like changing your life, putting makeup on, like focusing on my cat. Um, I don't even know what color I'm putting on my eyes right now. Okay, um, we'll do this, okay. Anyway, so um, I make sure I have my coffee timer set for in the morning for at seven o'clock. Um, that normally helps me to like get up. And then I work out for 30 minutes and then I get ready. But um, 
I have been watching a lot of um, YouTube things and listening to a lot of podcasts that say you need like a morning, like an actual morning routine to kind of um, be more proactive and like effective and all of that stuff. So I do listen to a podcast in the morning when I get ready. So um, that's kind of been a little bit of a morning routine, which is awesome. I listen to um, Almost 30. I love them. They're hilarious. And then recently, um, my boss actually gave me this YouTuber called High Vibe Honey. Um, she's amazing and I love her. So I kind of switch back and forth between her and Almost 30. Um, they're just really motivational um, people. They have, well, the girls on Almost 30 have like entrepreneur, like women entrepreneurs on. Um, they talk about different things that, you know, you go through. They're over 30 now, but um, they talk about What's happening? They talk about, um, you know, life and being in control of your own life. So anyway, um, I do that and then I make my bed and then um, pretty much I'm like rushing out of the door by then because it's like 9.30 and I gotta get to work, right? So I'm thinking, um, I have to get up earlier to get everything done. Um, should I do like meditation after I work out? What, what should I do? I think, um, I gotta do something. Because... I love it going like today. Um, the day my day's off, I sleep in until nine. I have a really hard time um, sleeping, so it's I wake up like two, two times probably during the night. So um, it's hard for me to get up in the morning. Um, but today, I feel like so I'm gonna use a couple of colors from my movie palette. Um, yeah, I just really like this palette. I had it. It's the um, I don't remember what color this is. Oh wait, it's it's the second nature palette. Um, I just really love these colors. Aren't those colors beautiful? They're so pretty. Um, I love them. So we're gonna do a pop of that because. I love red and oranges, and you can be happy in gold. Um, so let's do this. I did a gold already, so let's do a red or something. Yeah. Where was that? Okay, so today I woke up, you guys, at 7.30 and went to spin class. I am so proud of myself. It makes me really happy. Uh, I just wish I could continue that. I mean, I just need to do it, right? Back to morning routines. Um, what works for you guys? I want to know. Give me all your ideas. Um, I do follow um, a vegan YouTuber, um, Supreme Banana. She's awesome. She's done a lot. She's done a lot of videos on like morning routines and like she does like all of these like uh, millionaire people, entrepreneur um, morning routines and she posts about them and I don't know, I just haven't really gotten that train. Oh yeah girl, oh yeah girl. Stupid. Okay, okay. It looks about okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of an under eye just because, like I said, I'm gonna be in public today. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, enough is enough. Now we're gonna, oh, um, so here is my thing about mascara. 
I love mascara, right? Um, typically, I'll use the Tarte. I think it's like the Tartist or something like that. Or they have a ton of mascaras that I absolutely love. Um, I love the Aveda mascara. Um, there's just not an Aveda store by me, I guess, that's close that I can go and get it. it it's amazing. That's cruelty free. Um, I'm just using e.l.f. today because I ran out of my tart like a week ago and I don't like to just order like one thing from Tarte. I kind of do like everything at once because um, that's what works for me. So yeah, when I am almost low on my foundation, I will probably order foundation and mascara. Oh, I think it's Man Eater that I like. If the name just came to me. Okay, okay. So we're going to powder my face. Which this is the Morphe Bacon set. Here's the thing. They had a translucent powder that I love, love. They discontinued it. Um, that thing lasted me like two and a half, three months. Um, and I was obsessed with it and I knew I was running like so low. Like literally, I um, abused the crap out of it because I was like, no, why are you like running out? Right? So I literally used like every single powder left in that container. I went to go reorder it and nowhere to be found. That's me. So I loved that powder. It was my life. But um, I ordered this bacon set one and it's just not, you guys, it's not my jam. Okay? I have used and tried every freaking translucent powder and I've used the NYX one. I have I have used the NYX one. I've used the Tarte one. I used the Thrive, um, which... Have you guys ever used Thrive? Let me know. It's it's a vegan company. Um, I have like their they have like a lightning pencil to like put underneath your eyes, and I used and I ordered like a palette, like an eyeshadow palette from them, and then a translucent powder. I am just like not sold. Um, I still have them. Um, maybe I'll do like a video on that. Um, there's just something about their products that I'm just not like 100% like in love with. I feel like and I put it on and an hour later it's just like down my face. And that could just be because of my texture of my face. I'm not really sure. Anyway, so um, if you guys like a translucent powder that you absolutely love that works for you, let me know that's vegan and cruelty free. Um, this is just um, unfortunately what I have right now because they don't have my other one, okay? So uh, that makes me sad. Okay, so after I do that, I... I I like to just kind of zhuzh it in. Really, really get it in there. Ah. Just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that to your face. You guys, this video is so long, I'm gonna have to edit the crap out of it. I'm almost done though. Be almost done. Be almost done. Okay. So, um, also, I use this awesome Betsy, um, bronzer. I use it now because of Raw by Christy. Thank you so much. This is Shady Biz. I, ooh, I love this. And I was so happy to hear that it is cruelty free and vegan. Girl, it is worth the money. It's worth the money, honey. You see what I did there? Hey. Ooh. Hey. Hey. Do you see that? 
No, you probably don't. See, this is why I could never do like makeup tutorials. I would be terrible at them. People would be like, boo, get off the stage. Like, stupid. Like, and I would be over here, don't judge me. Like, you're gonna totally fucking judge me. Like, you guys, I could never do makeup tutorials because no one would ever want to watch me do makeup. They would just be like, shut up. And also, you don't even do makeup good. Like, stop it. It's probably because, um, you know how they say, like, practice makes you way better? Yeah, I don't do that. I just do whatever works for me. And I just, yeah, I don't know, I just feel like I can never, like, take time to just, like, keep practicing my makeup over and over again. Maybe it's, like, a decent product, and... But yeah, I just don't have the time to be wash it in. Or maybe I do, and I'm just being a little bitch about it. Okay, I don't have my blush brush. But I love this palette. It's the Aspen palette. My heart. Wow, all that shit is so dirty. Now being in this video, I'm just like, wow, I really needed myself. But I just started getting into the trend of wearing blush. I never really used to wear blush, and now I wear blush every single day. Um, so I'm using Make made you blush and I love their highlighter in this palette it's pure soul um, I'm gonna put that on later because I don't have my um, blush brush and my um, well I guess I could put my highlighter on right now because I put my highlighter on with my finger yeah okay see I told you you guys would never want to watch me do makeup ever because I don't do anything Ooh, look at that highlighter, you guys. Yeah, guys. Okay, cool. So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna set, but normally I do like a set setting spray because I need to put my blush on. Um, so you guys have it. I um, went down and you guys got ready with me and everything on this table was cruelty free and vegan. So I just really hope this kind of like inspires you to just like try some products maybe. Um, maybe try e.l.f. at first, you know, and or Tarte. Um, I know there's like a couple other um, makeup brands out there that are vegan. Um, lipsticks, there's a lot of lipstick um, makeup, no, lipstick brands out there that are vegan, which I think is awesome. I'm not going to put lipstick on today because it's so hot and I'm going to be eating today too. Um, and yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so I just feel like there should be so many other brands out there that are vegan, you guys. Um, so if you have a favorite brand that you use, excuse me, that's cruelty free, let me know and then maybe I'll like invest and try it out and use it and see what I think and then maybe we'll do another video. Um, but yeah, everything that I use like on my body, on my face, anything like that is vegan in my hair, everything I do in my hair is vegan, everything that I clean my house with is vegan. And I will say, okay, somebody needs to make mop solution that's vegan, right? You never thought of that. So this is what happened, and I don't know like what to do. I use some like or something like that, no, that's so, um, some other brand for mop that is cruelty free vegan, and it makes my floors really sticky. So there is, so I stopped doing that because I literally have a pile in my floor. So it makes it super sticky. So this is what I did the other day because I just don't know what to do. I used an all-purpose cleaner that I absolutely love because it's a brand that is at Target that's cruelty free. So I did some of that and then I used peach. I don't know that, I don't know. I don't know what to do, you guys. Um, so if you have like a mop solution that you really like that doesn't make your floors sticky, let me know. Um, because that would be fantastic. I think that's really the only thing because I use the bleach that's not really like, eh, I feel weird about. Um, but the all-purpose cleaner that I use with it is um, vegan. And my alert, my laundry, my laundry, my laundry detergent is also vegan. 
um, my toothpaste, my deodorant, pretty much everything. Um, so you, if you guys, I don't know what it is about today, but I just cannot talk at all. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Throw a comment below. Oh, that rhymed. Below, let me know. Okay, anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, have a wonderful day. Bye.